Hi guys, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to set up your 3CX session in the cloud. In this example I'll be using Amazon LightSail. I'll be assuming you already have your Amazon account authorized and active, along with your 3CX account. So first off we'll be going through obtaining the Amazon API access key. So log into your already activated LightSail account, smash that like button and let's get started. All right, so I'll just log into Amazon. Once you're finally in, you'll reach the home page. And on the home page, it will show all the instances you have activated. So here you can see that I already have one. So it will show the name of the instance, the public IP, and down the bottom, you can create tags so you can identify the 3CX instance. So let's go ahead and create a new access key. So on the top right hand corner, you click on account and then accounts again. Then you click on advanced. Then you click on go to the IAM console. Now click on the access key option. You can use one access key for all your instances, but it is best practice to use one access key per instance or per 3CX install. If your access key gets compromised and you have used your access key for more than one instance, instead of replacing the access key for one instance, you're gonna be replacing it for many. All right, so now click on create new access key. Once it's generated, click on show access key and just make sure you save it in a safe place. Once you activated the 3CX instance, it's a good idea to delete these details. If you need to restore an instance, just create a new key. I just copy and paste the information into a notepad file. Or you can hit that download key file button. That will download a CSV file for you. All right, now that we've got the Amazon light sales side of it sorted, we'll head over to the 3CX Express. Okay, before we start on the Express, you gotta make sure you've got a valid license key emailed from 3CX. It'll either come in a PDF format like this or in the body of the email, depending on if you've purchased it or not. So just copy the license key, control C, then head over to pbxexpress.3cx.com. Then paste the license key and hit next. If you don't have a license key yet, just hit create new down the bottom there on the left. Then you enter the client details. Do take note that the email address you enter here will receive the admin login for the whole system. So if it's a customer email, you'll have to get them to forward that email to you so you can log into the system. If you're getting value out of this video, just smash that like button, it really helps me out. Okay, so in here you're obviously selecting your country, time zone and language. Okay, so this is where you choose your subdomain. So it'll be the business name .3cx.com.au and that's how you'll be accessing the phone system. And that's how the customer will be accessing the phone system as well. Just make sure you've got the correct settings here. It's not easy to change the domain once you've set it, so it's a good idea to just get it right the first time. I'm in Australia, so I'll be leaving it as 3cx.com.au. Now you're choosing the extension length. So I usually go for four digits, but you can go three, four or five. I usually wouldn't go for two at all. So three is the minimum, I would say. This is one of the many parameters you can't change later on. So if you've picked three digits and realize you need four, you'll have to rebuild the whole system in order to change the length. Now select your cloud provider. So from the drop-down menu, select Amazon LightSail. 
In here you enter the ID and the key that you acquired at the beginning of the video. Once you have entered everything, hit next. In this window you select your region and your machine type. It's important you do your calculations to select the right machine type based on the estimated extensions and simultaneous calls you would have on your system. Once you've selected the machine type, smash that like button and hit finish. Once you've read through all that, hit accept and install. Finally at the last station, this says it takes about 10 minutes, but I've never had it take more than eight minutes, let's say. It's pretty quick, so you just have to sit back and wait and don't close the web browser. Once it's ready, you'll start receiving emails with the credentials, as well as the credentials show up on that black box, which I've uh, blinked out. If this video was of any value, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now I'll just cut it to the end, so we don't have to wait. Now that's complete, so that took about 6 minutes 45 seconds. You should now have the email with the credentials so you can log in as admin into your new system. Just be aware not to enter the password wrong too many times otherwise your IP address will get blocked. I'll now take you back over to Amazon Light Sales portal. So you can see now you should have two instances activated. I find it a good idea to give the instance a tag name because once you end up having many 3CX instances, it'll be hard to track who's who. To give it a name, you hit those little three dots and hit manage. Then up the top, hit tags, then give it a name. Once you're done, got the top, hit home, and now your instance has been named. Now, of course, it is possible to identify the instances via the public IP but it's just naming them is a lot easier, I think. All right, hopefully this video was of any value. If it was, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. Take care.